waiting for the video to pop up on my iPad. Hey, Melissa. I had to stand up and look at my phone because this darn video won't come up on my iPad. YouTube's being funny today. Come on. I just keep refreshing the screen. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, if it ever comes up, then we'll be chatting. <laughs> I wanted to do this live in case anybody had any questions, and besides that, I don't know. <laughs> All right, fine. It's not gonna. It's not gonna come up. Let me try closing YouTube and reopening. Maybe that'll do it. Okay, there we are. That did it. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I noticed that the kind of the video has been funky and stuff like that. So um, I finished my project, and this is for Scrappy Shack, by the way. Um, and so I kind of wanted to show it off. And hopefully everybody can see... Um, and I'll kind of walk you through the parts. So this is it all kind of put together. It's got a it's got a gas tank on the back that's filled with blood. It's not really blood, it's re-inker. <laughs> a little bit of water. And then the back obviously will come off. And that's a clock that I did. Um, that's a die cut of one of the Biggs dies. And then these are just some little ideology parts. And I've got candle power. And then I've got my little scully up front. And so uh, let me do this. I'm going um, to plug in my hot glue gun because I want to show you how, to make, how I make my blood drips. And you want to need it to be nice and hot. So um, the back comes off and I just kind of push it out. I'm just gonna push it out for a minute and here's the, here's what the back looks like, the inside. It's got this little gypsy girl that I, um, I covered that with the frosted crystal and then colored it with uh, my um, pencils, my Tim Holtz watercolor pencils. This is some of my monster skin and this is some blood. And this is here just to support this ledge here. So let's switch on the, this light and I'll show you from the back side. Oops, my little bottle came undone. Good thing I have a ledge here. Um, this is, um, you guys are gonna trip. So, you know those pencils came with these really hard plastic inserts. And what I did was I created basically a cone out of one and just sort of stapled it together and then covered it with my monster skin. And then this is also monster skin up here. And um, so the cool thing about this stuff and the way you would do that is you just grab your scoreboard and get that out of the way. Just take your scoring tool and score it a few times. and then give it a bend and you've got an easy shelf. So that's how I created that little shelf and I did, you know, have a little bend on the back end too. And then it's glued onto, this is just a piece of um, chipboard. And then I have another piece of chipboard there just to kind of raise my little bottles up and these are re anchors and glitter. This is glow in the dark glitter. This is just some other kind of trippy glitter that I like a lot. Um, then I have my lights stashed up here. 
I have space down here if I wanted to store something, but nah. Um, I started with the bottom. So I bought this die set because um, somebody asked me, don't you have the pulleys and stuff like that? And I'm like, uh, no, I don't. Maybe I need them. So I bought them and I thought one day, so uh, Scrappy Shack, she, Melanie sent me this uh, curio clock and said, uh, here's your assignment, make something with it. So that's what I've done. And my little bottles want to fall out. I'll probably have to glue that back on. One thing I've noticed is I, I'm not a big fan of hot glue. It doesn't stick very good. It does on some things, but not, not a lot. Um, so here I've got the little ideology candles. And I started to think, I was thinking about drilling holes in them and then putting a light through, but I didn't, I just didn't. I was lazy, I guess. So, and then I've just got some little mummy cloth in here and these little skulls, these little ideology skulls. And there's the mummy cloth. And this is um, paper from the um, Halloween release, ideology paper. This sticker, and these are the, I think I got these last year from ideology. So this little, this little seat thing, you know what that is? You're gonna trip, okay. It is, let me find the die here. Where are you? I had it, it it's the die. It's the umbrella die from the Distinguished set. And I, what I did was I cut a lot of them and um, glued them together because I needed the thickness, right? Because see, they're, you know, they have to be pretty sturdy. And then the inside, I don't know if you can see it, I co covered in like a wood type paper. And so I cut these and glued them together. Some of them are going the right way and some are going the wrong way. So you know how you've got that kind of, I don't know, smooth lip? Because I wanted these tips to match. Um, where was I going with that? I forgot. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So anyway, um, I started out by building the chassis. And um, let's get its lights on, too. So the chassis, this is three pieces of chipboard. And then these are just the, uh, and the wheels did turn, but I made them not turn because this ended up being so heavy that they kept bending outwards. So I glued them down so they wouldn't turn. Anyway, yeah, I just, I laid the umbrellas like one, two, three, like that and glued them together. And then <laughs> I used, where did I put it here? Oh, now I can't find it. Oh, I have, um, I save all my creamer. I, dr I eat that powdered creamer stuff in my coffee and I save all these containers. So I cut a piece of it into basically the shape I needed those umbrellas to cover and I covered it in paper and I glued them onto it. So that's how I got that. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do we have on here? We have um, these little bottles. Uh, yeah, got the lamp, got those. This um, is just a wood dowel. In fact, it's not even a wood dowel. It's a skewer. It's one of those really super long skewers you get from the dollar store. Um, my thinking behind this was that I was kind of making a, a time machine, right? And don't ask me. I don't know what this would be. I guess this would make them fly, right? But these are just the propellers from that little set. What I did was I cut them all out of craft paper and glued them two together. And then I painted them black and then I, um, I dry brushed the uh, antique gold or antique, uh, it's right here in front of me, antique bronze on them. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Um, let's see what else. These are just little machine heads that I made it appear that it was screwed together. It wasn't really. This is a motor that I took out of, um, I had this like nail kit that was rechargeable and like the battery would last for about three fingernails and then it would die. And so I never used it. So I stole its motor. Um, <laughs> 
so the undercarriage, I covered most of the wire with the black tape. So luckily nobody sees that, but um, this is just, what do you call that, Ele electrical tape? just to kind of cover all the wires. And then I painted all the tiny lights with a purple alcohol ink so that it had a purple glow to the underside. Then the warm lights are inside of here. So, and I made a lot of blood, a lot of blood drops, and I'm gonna show you how I make those. I put some extra blood drops on the candles. And then here's some more of my monster skin. And I have a video on how I made monster skin. And this guy, he's just basically st stuck on a piece of dowel with a round piece on it and then sat down and then I just sort of shaped what I thought his robe would look like. Hopefully you can see that. Let me make sure you can see it. And again, these are parts and they, this did move. Now it doesn't want to move because I glued everything down and that's fine. I'll probably end up cannibalizing this at a later date because that's what I do, unless I give it away. Um, these are all just parts of, dun, 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 where did it go? Just the, um, and I put them in their own separate, but these are the um, Halloween, I want to say they're layers. Everything I got, I got from Scrappy Shack. And um, I, I forgot to link it below, but I will. And then I did use stickers from this ideology curiosity sticker book and then i used the paper doll from the halloween paper dolls and this is from the halloween backdrops papers um this is also from the halloween backdrops i thought you know most of the time if you are you go to a drugstore or something like that they're advertising stuff right there's ads everywhere hi simon <laughs> how are you I just saw you earlier today. You won't like this one. It's bloody and gory. <laughs> See? <laughs> I was telling him earlier, because, you know, we've got the new release of the Simon Hurley Halloween Adorable Little Monsters, which, by the way, um, I think at 5 o'clock my video will drop for the monsters. So you guys are just being bombarded with me today. Um... And I just kind of just fashioned these the way I thought they should look. And I had to put a little, I had to put a little, little helper there because it was wobbly and I didn't want it to be wobbly. So I'm going to show you here. I'll give you, let me get the back back on here. There he is she is they are and I didn't realize it when I put the little paper doll on that um, she'd be buried by the lamp which I, I did the lamp in my monster skin just to pay homage to Texas Chainsaw Massacre anybody that had seen it I think I never saw it but I know I heard stories and I think they put made furniture out of people's skin <laughs> so, um, and then, you know, put a little, these are painted with alcohol ink as well, so that they'd be the right color. And I think my hot glue gun's probably ready now, but I just kind of wanted to do a walkthrough with you on that. And what I do is I just take my glue gun and I'll make a make a dot and then just do a squiggle. Now that one didn't work out. So sometimes they don't work out. Make a dot and then do a squiggle. It's not hot enough. It has to be nice and hot. Dot, squiggle. Dot, squiggle. I'm doing it on a silicone mat. So once they, um, once they dry, pull them right up. Now guess what? Unplug my hot glue then. Cause I forget sometimes. So we'll let those cool down and I'll show you some that I had already done and how I paint them. Because this is just a real quick. So here's some that are painted already. And the trick to making this stuff look like blood is to wait for the alcohol ink to thicken. So here's some clear pieces and I'm going to do them on another piece of silicone because I don't, I've already stained this mat and I'm not happy about it. You want to make sure that there's no little itty bitty stringies on them. 
These are nice long ones. And what I have here is I have rosewood and sienna alcohol inks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a not a particularly big fan of gore movies. I'm more of a psychological horror kind of girl. Like, I love The Shining. So I'm just putting two drops of each. And I just use a little paintbrush. And I try to use one of my older, funkier ones. But it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily hurt your brush. I'm looking for an older funky one. Here we go. I'm gonna kind of spread this out and mix it in together. What I want it to do is I want it to get gloopy. But I'll do one coat. So you see how easily this just pours right on here. It's almost like it absorbs it. You want it on there thick. See, I've used up pretty much most of the ink, but there's enough here. And I had a stringy on there, I didn't get off. So see how easy that is to make the blood drops? I mean, super easy. Let's see if these have cooled down yet. So when these cool down, you can pull them right up and just pull off those little extra strings. See how that's gloopy right there? The gloopier, the better. Because it's sticky then, like actual blood. And it gets on, you know, goes on a little bit more opaque. That's how I do those. So, I thought it'd be fun to show you one way to make blood. And I also use the same wet damp brush, and just kind of put some blood here and there in my scene, in my murder scene. I do love American Horror Story though, and that thing can get pretty gory. Um, I have used the grit paste. And what I did was I laid grit paste down on one of these things and then I put in some Rusty Hinge reinker and mixed it together so that this, you know, makes it look a little bit like cast iron. And then here I've used the Grave Texture Paste to just kind of fill in some spaces. And let's see, anything I missed? Any, what questions do you have? Yeah, I, honestly, I prefer books over um, over movies because then the characters are mine. That's how I felt about the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings series because I had read those back in the 70s. I've got a little blood drop right here. Let's see what other surprises. These are little gears from Ideology. And then these are the handmade gears from the um, die set. And I'm happy to have this done <laughs> because again, it was an assignment and um, I hate to be behind because uh, yeah, I've, got, I've got a lot to do, a lot to do. Hope you guys like this. Um, that's all I had. I just didn't wanna pre-record this. Um, again, in case anybody had questions, but I'll turn off the lights and this I will either, like I said, I'll either cannibalize it or give it away. Because that's what I do to my makes. <laughs> I take them apart and use the parts for other things. If you don't get this on just right, it won't go all the way on because of that ledge that I made to support the roof. And now I got it stuck on here. There we go. There. So that's all. That's all I have. Uh, stay tuned to my channel. I will have the Simon Hurley video with the monsters tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, we will be doing, where did I put my birds? Put them here somewhere. Here we go. 
tomorrow night live, we will be doing this bird stamp set. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to paint them to look like leopards. And I've already tested my lunar pastes because I'm gonna paint them with lunar paste. We'll have fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Um, probably I'll see you around the circuit tonight. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in, take care. Here she is again. I'll hold it still here for a minute. It's really hard to take photographs of this thing. Really hard because, I don't know, I'm a horrible, I can't be still. Anyway, that's it. You guys, thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Where's my stop button?